In northern Kenya, a land where elephants roam and lions roar, the Maasai community of the Oroteti Makurian Conservancy in Laikipia are benefiting from training in plant grazing and holistic management in order to restore land and water health, provided by Wajibu in association with Laikipia Wildlife Forum. Decades of poor land management and the impacts of climate change have resulted in severe degradation in the rangelands. The land is deteriorating faster and on a wider scale than at any time in living memory. Wajibu have established a scientific baseline against which improvements in land health and increases in soil carbon can be measured and monitored. Wajibu and Laikipia Wildlife Forum are providing practical training in improved land management and planned grazing. Wajibu engage directly with the community at field-based workshops and training sessions. We're in an area here you can see behind me and around Koloriteti and uh, this is part of Mokurian Group Ranch. Now a group ranch is basically a privately owned ranch with many owners, so like a cooperative and the resources used communally. This group ranch has severe problems with land degradation. Overgrazing, which is a matter of time, not animal numbers, has contributed to this land degradation. A solitary sheep grazing day after day in the same location throughout the year would overgraze numerous plants. However, a large herd, whether livestock or wildlife, grazing on the move would not cause the same damage and would stimulate new plant growth. <laughs> Ille. <laughs> In these dry rangelands, the total removal of animals and resting of the land would lead to further degeneration and desertification. In this semi-arid environment, the moisture present in the rich, fertile waste of animals is essential for the process of decay, which returns nutrients to the soil. As such, the Maasai of Oroteti Mercurian Conservancy have been taught by Wajibu and Laikipia Wildlife Forum how to rehabilitate their lands using their livestock. They have divided the conservancy area into grazing blocks and brought their livestock together into large, mixed, tightly bunched herds recreating the positive impacts of natural wildlife migrations. The action of hundreds of hooves moving across the land as one unit helps to break the hard capped soil, sowing indigenous grass seeds and improving water infiltration. <laughs> Wajibu 
eki ata haki ba niki ngwa mugira ba kijinga ngwa ba ida ba shaki na nyi ngwi foke. To dua na waga ba ni cha jogi si dai na mo <hesitation> kwe dana fenya na ba na na itang kasa ke na to dua ke ze jogi na ba kora na na ra tol dorot ki sa idia na ve ye e shugwe ngko bang shugwe ngko lufuang. E fundi sa ba yo na risha da ba e fai kata tingke ve rel doru ko ana fenya na ta ta nigi nda shingki shwe ngko na me ta ar na ba ina ke te to ki na ba na tingke ve rel ngko bang na ji na ni nya na gira e shung kulu bo me ta ke rora. At Wujibu workshops, the community are offered advice and training in land health, climate change, and the potential for soil carbon sequestration. This is a good thing to do to the community of Wakulima and the people of Wakulima. If they are in the country, and the people of Wakulima are in the country, and the people of Wakulima are in the country, and the people of Wakulima are in the country, kutoka hiyo carbon market. Iko kitu nataka kujua kutoka kwako. Mm -hmm. Na mimi na furai kusikia wewe umeguza wakati ulikuwa hapa. Yeah. Unasema mambo ya hii kitu inaitwa carbon side kitu kama hiyo. Hii kitu unasema akiwa itakuja kuwekwa ndani ya mchanga vile mimi nasikia inaweza kufanya inji ikue tena msuri sijui. Hii kitu itakuwa mbole? Ni kama mbole. Kama nataka pima rotuba okay. ya, ya, ya mchanga ni gumu kuendelea kuchimba yote kupima yote. Kina science wanasema wanapima wachache alafu kutoka hiyo wachache kwa ajili wanajua mchanga kabla kabla mchanga mahali yote. Unajua hata kusimamia hapa tulisimamia juu ya mchanga kabla karibu zaidi ya tano kumi. iku tofauti tofauti. Sawa. <laughs> the World Agroforestry Center or ICRAF have been working with Wajibu to undertake scientific analysis on the soil samples collected from project sites across Kenya, including at Oroteti Makurian. So for a number of years we've been, uh, at, here at ECRAF, we've been working on uh, developing what we call the Land Degradation Surveillance Framework, or the LDSF, which is basically a, a standardized set of methods for, for monitoring, for measuring baselines and monitoring ecosystem health including soil health, of course, which is one of our main focuses. But we also look at vegetation, we look at land use, land cover, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the key uh, ecological variables that we, that we look at and we, we study in great detail is actually soil, soil carbon. Uh, not necessarily so much traditionally so much for, for, for carbon trading and so on, but more because it is a very important indicator of, of the health of the soil. Wajibu teams undertake field sampling at geo-referenced, randomly located sites across the area, following ICRAF's land degradation surveillance framework, establishing a baseline of land health and soil carbon. The Wajibu field supervisor, who has been trained by ICRAF, works with community members to collect soil samples, which are identified with a unique reference number. The samples, once logged in, they, get, they go through our spectral diagnostics lab, uh, which includes various measurements using X-ray, X-ray fluorescence and X-ray diffraction for, for basically for the chemical composition of those samples and for the mineral composition of the samples. Uh, then they go on to, to our near-infrared and mid-infrared lab, where we ba basically do the spectral screening of the samples. And from the, each of these samples, we get a, sp a spectral signature um, in the, the respective wavelengths that the different instruments operate at. These spectral signatures, they tell us a whole lot of different things about the sample. It could be to do with the carbon content, the physical properties of the sample, other, other fertility characteristics of the sample, and so on. So there's a, it's an extremely information-rich uh, data set that we get from these from these instruments. The community at Oroteti Makurian are very pleased with the initial outcomes of community plant grazing and the holistic management approach. Their lands are beginning to recover and their animals will remain healthy through the long dry season. The first good thing result we have achieved is that People have come together, with, they are able to work together, to put animals together, to punch them, to learn the techniques of even assessing the forage use and putting the kraals in, a very, in, a, in one of in the bad areas, most degraded areas, so that, they, they can, that the soil can be disturbed, so that it can have ability to, 
to sustain water during the rainy season. Over time, as improved land management brings about the restoration of the environment, water infiltration will increase and the water table will rise. Old, currently lost springs will reappear and the women of Oroteti Makurian, who walk for up to five hours a day through the searing heat to collect water for their family, will benefit from more abundant sources of water, closer to their homes. At the moment we have, we have so far got unity of our people, we, because they are thinking together and we are hoping they will continue. The land rehabilitation programme and planned grazing training will continue into the future. Wajibu will continue to collect field data and work with ICRAF to develop a soil carbon methodology that can be used to trade carbon credits on the international markets, potentially bringing additional income directly to the local community. The health of the rangelands of the world is critical to the mitigation of climate change. As land health improves, soil carbon sequestration increases. A 4.2% increase in soil organic matter, the precursor to soil carbon, across the 5 billion hectares of global rangelands, could reduce atmospheric carbon dioxide to pre-industrialization levels.